Hi, I'm George Levy. I believe we're changing the world one blockchain at a time. And if we use this technology properly, we're bound to make the world a better place for everyone. So to help make this change happen, in this video, I will be answering a question from one of the students of the Blockchain and Bitcoin Fundamentals course. And the question is, what are Bitcoin public and private keys? That's an excellent question. And I'll give you the answer right after this. In this video, I will be talking about public and private keys. And I will begin by sharing with you a Bitcoin address. This is a Bitcoin address from a live wallet. You could actually send Bitcoin if you wanted to it, and I would receive it. You can share your Bitcoin address because it's based on a public key. The public key, by default, is something you can share with others because it's impossible to access the funds to what you send to a public key unless you have the private key. So I want to begin by showing you the Bitcoin address, which is based on a public key. I will now show you how you generate these Bitcoin addresses and how the public and the private key are related. Now that we have established that your Bitcoin address can be shared with other people and that it is based on a public key, let's generate a new Bitcoin address so you see exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to public keys and private keys. For that, I will be using a tool that's found at bitaddress.org. Bitaddress.org enables you to create Bitcoin addresses that you can use as paper wallets, you can use as brain wallets, there's other ways to use these. These are used primarily for something known as cold storage. Cold storage is when you receive your Bitcoins and you put them in a wallet that's not connected to the internet. That is, instead of keeping your Bitcoins on a mobile wallet that's on your mobile device where it could get hacked, that's hot storage. You can put it offline on a paper wallet. That's called cold storage. So this bitaddress.org website enables you to create these new Bitcoin addresses and generate these paper wallets. Note, what I will be doing right now is going to be done on the live bitaddress.org website. If you in fact wish to use this to generate your own paper wallets, I encourage you to download the software and actually run it on your computer offline so that it's not connected onto the internet. You don't want to run the risk that somebody could be hacking the website or taking the information from your computer and stealing the new Bitcoin addresses that you're generating. But for the purposes of this video, what I want to explain is the relationship between the Bitcoin public keys and the private keys. And to do so, we're going to generate a new Bitcoin address. So what I am doing right now is beginning the process of generating a new, completely random key from which we will be generating Bitcoin addresses. As I am moving my mouse around, I am adding additional randomness to the generation of this key. And you see right now that it has generated a Bitcoin address. Notice that there's two components for this. We have the Bitcoin address, which is labeled as share, and you have a private key, which is labeled as secret. And the relationship is that the Bitcoin address is based on a public key, which you can share with anybody, while the private key is secret, because the private key is what enables you to spend any Bitcoins that are sent to this Bitcoin address. And that is the relationship between the public keys and the private keys in Bitcoin. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so I invite you also to subscribe so we can stay in touch. Also, if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, we are changing the world one blockchain at a time. I'm George Levy. Thank you for watching.